In this video, we are going to have a look at Plan Retrieval Augmented Generation. In this project, the researchers have explored the capability of LLMs as a solution for decision making. We will not only look at this paper, but we are also going to install it locally and then we'll see how it works. They also have proposed the new decision making task called as Decision QA which answers the best decision for a given complex decision making question that requires considering both the business rules and the business situation representing in a large database it could be a graph database like neo4j or it could be a relational database like mysql sql server oracle and the list goes on they have also built the benchmark for decision qa called dqa by extracting around 300 sets of a database, a question and an answer which is ground truth from two popular video games imitating real business situations that require decision making. So that is where this new RAG technique comes into play called as plan RAG, which performs planning before retrieving and replanning if the initial plan is not good enough. Plan RAG through extensive experiments has demonstrated significant outperformance than the SOTA iterative rag for the decision QA task. One example is this diagram where you can see that decision QA in action, a red dot represents a trading node and a profit in the Deccan box indicates a potential profit change by each decision. Also note that the potential profit changes are not in the database which should be calculated from the database and each country has only a single main home trading net. <clears throat> the underlined column names in a table indicate the key of the table. So <clears throat> step by step, the process is going through making a plan for which kind of analysis is needed for decision. And then in step two, it is retrieving the data and then analyzing it. And then it is producing the answer based on the analysis. And there are a couple of decision one, decision two, through which it is making its analysis from the choices. And that is how the quality becomes quite good when it produces the eventual result. Let's go and try to get it installed on our local system and then see how it works. Before I do the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM which I'm going to use for this video and also the GPU. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted offering on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my VM. So this is open 22.04 running. And if I show you the card which I'm using is this NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. We'll be using OpenAI's GPT-4 because that works best. So you don't need that much um, VRAM for this demo. And you would need to go to platform.openai.com to obtain your OpenAI key. You can use open source models like from VLLM, but they are not recommended as per this repo. And in my own experience, I also have found out that for these rag tasks, open source models really are not up to the mark as even now. Okay, so let me clear the screen. <clears throat> First up, let's install a quick graph database, a simple Neo4j1, and then we will install a relational database. Let's quickly update our system. That shouldn't take too long. And I'm just going to show you all the steps here. That is done. Let's clear the screen. And now let me update some of the packages which are required. So most of the stuff should already be there in terms of packages, I believe. And now let's download our new 4J with the key. And I will drop the link to the Git uh, in the video description. You can check it out. That is also done. Let's grab our new 4J here. And you can just simply press enter. And it is going to download and install it for you. Let's wait for it to finish. That is already done. And now let's install Neo4j Enterprise. 
just press Y here and that should be done so just select I accept by down down arrow let's wait for it and that is also done let's install cypher shell which is required i think it's already there that is all good then and let me clear the screen you can also try out cypher shell by uh, using this command and default password is also new for j and it says that we need to require a new password so let me put a new password here and that is done now so it means our new 4g is running that is good yeah so i just need to type colon exit i keep forgetting that so colon exit and you'll be exiting from here okay so new 4g is done let's install mysql now first up let's grab our mysql we have downloaded it and now let's use dpkg to install this debian file and then from here we can just um, select ok here or you can just i think debian jesse is good and then we can also go with we don't want to go with mysql server yeah i think that is fine mysql 8 that is fine just press ok here and we should be good so let me press it here okay and that is good and now let's update everything again just to make sure all the packages are updated i know there are a lot of stuffs okay let's clear the screen and you can install mysql server like this it should be done fairly soon and that is done let me clear the screen and now you can also try out mysql login with this command and for dbqs you can simply create a database something like that at dqa rdb this is for our dqa benchmark which i explained earlier that is done now let's use this mysql and so the mysql is a primary database here and we can use mysql access make accessible without the pseudo privileges in the python environment and that makes it easier to use i have just updated the table there and let's flush the privileges and that is done and we can again press colon exit here to exit from here i believe this is the one I okay i'll just exit so let's clear the screen now that is done so after this let's git clone the repo of our plan rack and for that all you need to do is to just use this git clone and this so let's wait for it it is going to put everything here and the repo is cloned let's go into this rep repo let me clear the screen and now if i do the ls dash ltr you will see that i have this file config.json let's open the, this file and here you would need to go to platform.openai.com grab your openai api key and put it here that is a paid option also go to huggingface.co and grab your api key that is a free key which you can obtain grab the read token that should be fine and then here you can just keep it like this host is this and this is the user and this is a password which we change just put it here and then again you can just keep this one as is because this is using localhost and the root default password okay so let me put it here and then we are going to i will save it and then i will exit from here so i have set my api keys and now let's create a conda environment 
and then activate that i'm just calling it plan rack let's wait for it to get created and then surprising thing is that it uses python 3.8 anyway so it is got created and it is activated let's clear the screen and now let me install all the requirements that should be done fairly quickly and that is almost done it takes a bit of a time to get installed and remember that this is a rag framework this is not a tool which you can use just as is you would have to integrate it into your, into your rag pipeline and if you are not aware of what rag is primarily what happens is that you have these llms or large language models they get trained on a huge training data but they are not aware of your own data your company's data so what you do you take your company's data like text files pdf you convert them into vectors or numerical representations after chunking and splitting them then you store them in a vector store and from there whenever a user asks a question from your rack pipeline you grab that question you convert it into vector representation you do the similarity search in your vector store and then you give that context to llm and that is how your llm has more context so for installation wise this is installation you need to do end to end and there is nothing else you need to require now i can show you the command which you can use for example in order to use it with relational database scenario you would use something like this and of course you would need to embed your data for this and then um, whatever your own data is so for example when i run this it with this one which is just using the relational mysql database it is using now the task task manager change using gpt4 model and this is just a sample one and you see that it is just planning it now going through the observation and all that stuff so the st step one was identifying the trading node i think this is the one which we saw earlier in their demo too you see that it is just doing some observations going through the steps one by one it looks really good and look at the chain of thought of this agentic rack looks really really cool and you see it is self-thinking it has done our um, step one step two thought and then step three and these are the observations and there is your final answer that which route it should take so it is thinking planning and then doing the rag so really i think something groundbreaking is happening here similarly you can also use it with your graph database if you like the same scenario would you, you be using whatever you are using for example let me actually give you the command and how can you use this with graph let me clear the screen for the graph you will be using something like this where the database is graph one and then it is just going with that one because i haven't put it any question so that is why it's not using it i'm just giving you some of the techniques here and they also have something like if you're interested you can go with iterative rack something like this where it is just going to iterate through it and give you zero short data you can also do single short rack a lot of stuff you can do so let's see how the iterative rack goes it is just going to and we also have given it scenario and you can go into it just define whatever you like it is going to uh, check it out and i will drop the link to its github repo in video description it's very easy to use it as it as you already saw and there you go so it has gone through all the thinking all the thought process and the final answer is here similarly uh, you can do singleton rack by using this single rack instead of going through iteratively through the data there you go it is just using the data this is our single rack this is the question it is just going to take a shot and give you the answer yep so it is just going through the data using the query generating it and finish the chain and you have your answer here how good is that so all in all as i mentioned real good stuff and uh, i will drop the link to its paper and wrap on video description read through it let me know what do you think 
if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching